Yeah, yeah, what's up, everybody? It's your boy, Nitty. I just want to let the world know, man, that uh, first and foremost, man, I want to I want to thank all the people that are supporting this whole Gritty Style movement, man. You know what I mean? It's, where it's come to right now is a real blessing, you know what I mean? All the different people that's, that's putting their time and their energy and supporting the movement, you know what I mean? And when I say a movement, I mean collectively because <clears throat> a lot of people be out there and they... They speak on movements and shit, and I be watching a lot of people, though. I'm not, I'm not going to front. There's a lot of movements out there that I be watching. And I'm not going to hate on nobody for their movement, my nigga. If you got a movement, represent that shit to the fullest, because at the end of the day, we collectively got to come together. We have to do that. You know what I mean? I keep telling people, that's what this whole gritty style thing is. It's like it's kind of like a university. You know what I mean? Everybody's starting to look at us like, oh, y'all a label and all that shit. <clears throat> We're building to a label, but we didn't start out like that. You know what I mean? I used to have a passion for for taking the underdogs. You know what I mean? I would take an artist that nobody thought could blow up and take them in and develop them and, and, and put them in a situation where when I do push them out there, they're going to be one of the biggest, most talked about artists. You know what I mean? From nothing to something. So that's what the whole gritty is. That's how it all started. It all started off development. You know what I mean? And I had time and passion on what I did because I really felt that we need to get our coach right. You know what I mean? We didn't... It's like... People didn't give a fuck about this rap game. They didn't care about this shit. You know what I mean? They didn't give a fuck about it. You know, they get an artist, you know, be like, hey, take my name, take my title, and throw them out there, not even help them. You feel what I'm saying? And I was I was totally against that because that's what that's what made the that's what made all the loopholes in the West Coast. You know what I mean? And so, you know, the whole thing with us, man, we just grinding every day, man. And I keep telling people you can't be lazy when you're in this music game. You know what I mean? And you're not going to blow up and you're not going to take over the game just chilling online every t talking about what you're going to do. There's people to be online all damn day. And don't get me wrong, though, because I be online a lot, too. But if you're going to be online, be productive about it. You know what I mean? This niggas bragging about their they, they, they credibility in the streets. They still want people to know this type shit when we don't, we don't give a fuck. Nobody cares about that shit no more. Niggas don't give a fuck what hood you from. None of that shit. If you're a real ass nigga, you're a real ass nigga. And that's it. We ain't got time to be playing, man. That's why people be like, Nitty, you be grinding all day, all night. You don't ever sleep. I don't have time to sleep. You know what I mean? We got an artist named Young Blue. You feel what I'm saying? We got a 15-year-old artist named Young Blue, homie, that's about to take the game over. And when I say that, he's just too young. His vision, his third eye is already open. And that's when you're around real people. That's what happened when you got a little cat around this realism, and he's just sucking everybody's game in. It develops who he is. And that's the whole mission with Young Blue. You know what I mean? We're trying to take him to a level where they never took a young artist on the West Coast. And keeping his head right. Because the little kid head is right. He's ready for the game. He's ready for mainstream. We just got to get all the people to support in this one cause. You know, there's no disrespect to any other artist. But my whole thing is right now why I'm putting so much time in this little kid is because he's young. And the generation under him is looking up to him. So if we put him in the right situation to be 100% humble with this shit. We ain't gotta be negative no more. We don't have to be. We got every avenue we need. I don't. I don't. I don't fuck with negative people. You niggas can get away from me, homie. However you wanna do it. That's how it is. It's like chess. You wanna play chess, nigga? Get your ass on the other side of the table, and you move your pieces, and I'ma move my pieces. If that's how you wanna do it. If you ain't trying to be humble, nigga, let's play a game of chess. It's all good, nigga. You got some money on it. Let's do it. And that's what we on right now. You know what I mean? We just we just trying to be humble with this, man. You're going to hear a lot more about Gritty Style. We got a lot of good things coming up. <clears throat> I got a female artist that's really the heart of this shit. You know what I mean? She the one that motivate me to keep going because I, I have a I have a, a, a liking to the essence of how a female was created from the get-go. You know what I mean? Females is intelligent, homie. And if they all got together, homie, and, and, and push one movement for the female side... I think it, 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 they'll take over these niggas because there's too many ego problems when it's dealing with, with a male species. So the female species is, is is a very unique species. And to have somebody like E Sweets, you know what I mean, and, and the development she's getting in right now, she's ready to go. She's ready for the new year, you know what I mean? So we've been developing her, getting her mind right, getting her songs up to par, you know what I'm saying? And she's ready to go. She got a single that uh, is called Bad Chick that's going to be like, her first intro into the game, really. It's going to be her reintroduction, you know what I mean? Because everybody on her, she got a, a nice little buzz right now. And, you know, we real blessed with everything we're doing with her. She just she just a dope individual, you know what I mean? That's like one of my love loves, you know what I mean? For real, I really got genuine spiritual love for this girl. And uh, the whole team is just dope, you know what I mean? We got we got the marketing department on deck, you know what I'm saying? We have, you see where we at? 
we at the heaven house. You know when I be saying the heaven house? This this what I be talking about right here. You know what I mean? You just sit back, relax. You know what I mean? And, and one thing about the heaven house, the whole concept to that is we're trying to build different places because we're going to have these kind of houses everywhere in every little city. You feel what I'm saying? And that's going to be the safe spots. You know what I mean? When you're part of this gritty style movement, nigga, if you in L.A., we got a house out there. And we just linking all this shit together and we making this one movement, this one line. You know what I mean? And that's what that's what it is right now. You know what I mean? I don't give a fuck what race you is, homie. I don't even I don't even throw the race card. That shit is old. People have been doing that shit too long. Oh, this is for my people. And this, nigga, fuck that, man. This is for the people of, 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 of one human mankind. There's only one race. That's the human race. That's the people that when I represent, I represent that. You feel what I'm saying? We gotta get out of that mind state, nigga, cause it's some, it's some, it's some Jews, it's some Italians, you know what I'm saying? You got the black, you got the brown, you know what I mean? You got different cultures, homie, that it's like a football team. You can't just have a one race football team, it'll never happen. That's why you never seen a one race football team. You gotta have all kind of different souls, and that's what it's about right now, homie. You know what I mean? We're grinding hard every single day. I don't sleep. You know what I mean? I do this shit for my team, homie. You know what I'm saying? I do this shit for my team so I can see them succeed. And that's what it's about. It's about giving back. We give back to the homeless. You know what I mean? We spend time and give back to the kids. We do this shit every year. You know what I'm saying? Yesterday, we was just with the homegirl who had a situation, uh, a, a toy drive for the kids. We went out there and supported that. Just, you know, just showing our presence and let people know that we do care about these different communities, homie. You know what I mean? The government, they don't expect us to be doing this shit. They don't, they don't give a fuck about us. We got to get our mind right, homie, and, and utilize our communication better. There's too many lazy people out here, homie, and they, they want to be big and famous, but they doing it for the wrong reasons. People want to be worshipped. That's a curse. You know what I mean? That's a curse, nigga. You want to get in this game so people can look at you bigger than what you really is. You ain't really that big, so, nigga, play your role and have them steps, man. People ain't going by steps. They'll start right here, and they're supposed to go like this, but they'll try to jump the gun and miss all that. You can't do that, my nigga. That's not part of the game. That's why, like, with me, people be like, you been in the game? Hell yeah, nigga. I'm proud to say it. And guess what? A nigga could have been rich a long time ago, but nigga, I didn't have my mind right. I wasn't ready for that shit. You know what I mean? I just took a whole different approach of how I came in the game, homie, and I'm very blessed to say that, you know what I mean, I don't, I don't have no enemies. You know what I mean? I got a few little haters. Most of the haters I got, they, I never even met them. You know what I mean? If I did know a hater, nigga, I'll call your ass up, nigga, and, and, and we could catch a fade and all that type of shit. I, I done been there and done that. You know what I mean? At the end of the day, I'm a real ass nigga. I don't have no hate for nobody, homie. Not even the people that hate on me, all the people that be hating on me. Nigga, I'm not mad at y'all. You supposed to hate on me. Shit, if I was you and I wasn't doing shit, nigga, I'd hate on me too. It shit, that shit get frustrating, homie, when you see somebody that ain't fucking with you and they just blowing up and they rising every day and they doing shit and you trying to do your shit and you got this big ass team and you niggas ain't did shit. But you watching somebody who came from nothing blow up right in front of your eyes and keep stacking and keep stacking and got all these dope artists that you know you can't compete against. I hate on that motherfucker too, probably, if I was in that situation. But that'd be some people's karmas, homie. You know what I mean? People got to look at it like that. Like, you know, a lot of people be like, Nitty, you, you, you be deep and, you know, what's your religion and all that? I could just tell you like this. Nigga, karma is like, is like a religion to me. Because if I go sock your ass in your nose and I'm tripping on your ass, nigga, I'm going to expect that shit back. So if I never socked you in your nose, and I always gave to you, and I always helped you, and I always looked out for you and all that type shit, that shit going to come back to me, and that's what's happening right now. It's the age of it's the age of the Aquarius right now. We're going in 2012. You know, a lot of people talk about, like, oh, it's the end of the world. Actually, what it is is it's going to be the end of freedom. You know what I mean? And, and freedom is some people's whole world. You know what I mean? Once once freedom becomes illegal, my nigga, it's going to be a wrap for everybody. All you niggas that's online claiming you in the gang and, 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 and trying so hard, nigga, guess who's going to be the first niggas they're going to come fuck with? You. They're going to come track your ass down, and if you're selling drugs and if you're doing anything illegal, they're going to get your ass. So, you niggas want to go ahead and keep doing that shit? Do that shit, nigga. Just stay the fuck away from me. You know what I'm saying? And, and that's just how it is, man. We got to have a, a humble circle, man. You know what I'm saying? And I done turned some of the hardcore killer ass, gangster ass niggas, homie, and gave them that real game, homie. And that's why I got real niggas on my side, nigga. I got niggas that don't even want to be on camera. You know what I mean? It's not just two artists. We it's not just E Sweets and Young Blue. Nigga, we got a whole squad.
exactly what did you see